I am starting this week's podcast weekly without any clue what I'm going to talk about. And I've got my blank paper here because it just feels like I'm not doing something if I'm not acting. Isn't that, you know, I had a friend in college. I said, I said, Brett, you should, you should be an actor. He said, I already am. And, and of course, knowing, uh, he said, we're all actors. He said, all of us, everyone's an actor constantly. Nobody, nobody says what they're really thinking. We go out in public, we're fake constantly. So I'm already an actor. What do you mean I should be an actor? Hmm. Brett Fox, gotta love Brett. So, pardon my French. I, I tell you what, it's been a Mad Media Monday. And that's, you know, I do symphony.possibilitytimes.com, uh, those editorials. And they were all written, but today I'm moving to a new apartment. Well, soon. And so I've got to go do, I've got to go get money from the bank and then I've got to go take the money to the apartment place and I've got to sign stuff and I've got to coordinate a moving party and I've got just, ah, that's fun. And then I've got voter absentee ballot stuff that I have to deal with. Yahoo. Tell you what, I have learned more about living in other countries by living in other countries than I ever did not living in other countries, if you can imagine. So... That was one reason that I got, but, but I'm, I'm getting too much into international stuff. I'm supposed to limit and constrain that and act and pretend to not be myself uh, until I get to the Taiwan special. You know, something really, something really clicked for me. Something really clicked for me. And that's why I started the Taiwan special. And that's, you know, Trump, people, I didn't know how to articulate it. I, I mean, a lot of the Trumpists, they get it that the government isn't moving slowly. Government is stalling slowly. And then there's people like my dear friend, Jedediah Pascal. You know, California, he told me this months ago. He's, he probably has a lot more he'd add now because he and I learn incredibly fast. We learn much faster than the legislative process, thankfully. He said, Jesse, legislation has its slow, methodical process. And it's like, wait a minute. Um, the legislative process is capable of being fast if it wants to. <clears throat> Pardon my French again. So I'm, you know, the thing is though, I wasn't able to explain until something clicked for me when I went to the State Department and I tried to politely explain to them what's going on in Taiwan and... Uh, they, they said, well, we don't receive things that way. Congress wouldn't accept certain things. So I said, okay. Every, every road, every method of explaining things politely is rejected by the government. They will not allow you to take a method that's polite. The only way they accept is if you're rude about it. Well, you can write, but when it comes to doing video or showing... Um, you know, evidence, photographs, whatever. You cannot give Congress a photograph of something. You have to broadcast it publicly for everyone to see and throw it into the, the, the social sphere. Yeah, that, that's the thing. And con <coughs> if Trump were to call over to Congress and show them what his tweets were going to be, Congress would say, well, I'm not so sure. Maybe we'll think about whether we want to respond to that. Perhaps that's something that will, and then they'd stall and they'd sit on it and they wouldn't do anything about it and they'd never get back to him. But if Trump sends a Twitter out for all the American people to see, then, oh, oh my, look what he did. And suddenly Congress gets in line and does what you need to do. You tell people stuff in a polite way. They don't listen. And I'm seeing this now, and this has clicked for me. Now, the Taiwan podcast this week, pardon me, is going to be about uh, the the third world legal system in Taiwan and the stuff that I've been putting up with and have been silent about for the last uh, push in 10 years. And I still haven't said all that I could say. Uh, I, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of crazy stuff that's gone on in Taiwan. But right now I'm sort of preparing and this is the beginning of the Taiwan special. And so I, I hope that you listen to it and then you enjoy it. Please talk to me. Nobody talks to me. You are welcome to comment and, you know, whatever. But I'm, I'm planning on getting into you know, more interesting hodgepodge topics, but I want to establish early on what's going on in the Taiwan system. And I, I talk about that. So the, the past week and this, this upcoming week, I'm, I'm going to be talking about that. So I hope that you enjoy it. Now, this week, 
after I finished last week's Mad Media Monday, I stayed up all night long and I got the book Watch, Stand, Pray on ebook. It's free on most platforms, 99 cents for the Amazon Kindle. Amazon requires a minimal 99 cent price. And because Amazon Kindle has to be a separate platform, it's a luxury platform, it's more work for me. Um, it's, it's a luxury for everyone else. So, and it is good. I mean, I have an Amazon Kindle. Where's my Kindle? It's sitting right here. I, I love it. I, I love the Kindle. I read stuff that aren't even eBooks on it. I read PDF files on it. I love the Kindle. Uh, this is, uh, which, which one is this? I don't know. There it is. Oh, look at that. I was reading about, uh, the, the, the latex language. Um, so uh, latex is a language for printing. Really, 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 really fun stuff. You can, I'm always learning, always learning, which is something I'm going to get to, but watch Dan pray is now available in ebook format. It was approved. And I'll tell you, it took me like 12 hours just to format it. You know, so much things. If you have things in life that take you a long time being mundane, that's normal. It's, I don't like it. I'm not praising it. I'm just telling you, most of us spend our time cleaning our rear ends and brushing our teeth and cutting hairs off of our body and going to the bathroom. Like there's an enormous amount of time spent just doing those things. And I, I was really contemplating that today. Like, you know, I've got to run around and get my, you know, my motorcycle's got this routine problem. And then, so I've got to drive this slow little putt putt thing. And then I've got to go over and wait for these guys. And then I've got to wait for those guys. And then, oh, darn it. I forgot to go to the post office. I'm gonna have to go do that later again. And then like, I mean, Jesus, what's like Donald Trump and Sean Hannity sleep four hours a night. If I sleep four hours a night, I get sick and then I can't do anything. So it's, it's like you're taxing my day about 20%. It, like, how do you expect me to get stuff done? And I've been really thinking about this today. I've been really, really pondering this. And I think God designed us that way because he wants us to have time to reflect. And if we have, you know, if every, you know, uh, 16 hours, we just turn off, it's really hard for the devil to control us, isn't it? Because we, we've all, <laughs> we work, we go 16 hours and then we're done. So that's one of the things I've been contemplating. So after I got Watch, Stand, Pray up on ebook format, I am now preparing to write my higher level English curriculum, which you might be interested in. And I'm also, of course, I've got an existing book that goes through phonics, which is very good. Phonics are very, very good. Review the rules for pronunciation and so forth. It's just something that we need to have general knowledge of. And, uh, you know, so there's that. And I'm going to be doing a shell course. And I went back to the Udemy classes that I began before I started writing Watch, Stand, Pray. And I'm so happy about being able to learn again. Life, I never stop learning. My life is an ongoing learning process. In fact, today I'm even exploring the idea of getting my master's degree in psychology one day. You know, why not? Why not? I never stop learning. And, uh, but, but first I need to do Udemy classes, one thing at a time. In my life, I'm looking for things to finish. And I'm hoping to get my enough things in my life finished. And I'm taking some life coaching courses. Uh, that, you know, and these are like led by like professional psychologists that are putting these classes together who coach other people. And I'm hoping that I can coach my own life and that I can get some sort of um, success which, from which I can share with others. I don't know that I'll be doing much one-on-one -on -one life coaching, but I just hope that I can produce quality content uh, that, that can really just help people. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I just, I've just been experiencing this week how slow life seems to work, but if we just step on the gas a little bit and we never stop learning that it does become worth it. It really, really does.